you might have been seeing all kinds of things on the internet about why 2024 is just not your average year. And here's what I want you to know as someone who's been in business since 2017, the 2024 is exactly the year where you can grow your business. If you're new here, my name is Anita. I'm a video marketing and social media strategist, and I help business owners just like you create content that converts. Now, so many people have so many thoughts about 2024. I know that the economy is in a really precarious place and you might think that this isn't the time to grow your business, but I'm just going to encourage you, please do not make business decisions based on your wallet. There are tons of people out in the world who are trying to grow their businesses so that they can provide more for their family and know that they are willing to invest for help and also know that they will need help in various areas. If I was starting over now, I would definitely make sure to help in either the health space, the finance space, or the business space. And the reason I say this is because these are areas that people are going to continue to invest in because even in tougher times, being able to make a transformation in these areas is going to be imperative for the quality of life for people. So they're willing to put money there. And before you start thinking, well, I just want to help people. I don't want to charge any money. Clients who pay, they pay attention. So you want to make sure that you are creating a transformation for the people who do pay you. But also, you want to know that it is not a crime to charge people for help, especially if they can get a result. All right, so why is 2024 such an incredible time to grow a business? Well, customer behavior has really shifted. And here's what I mean. No longer can you have a feed of empty content. People really are looking at you as a personal brand and really wanting to know you. Authenticity is more and more important than it's ever been. And no longer are people just buying from you because maybe you have the right tagline. They want to know who you are and the values that you have and are more likely to buy from you if they align with who it is that you are. That doesn't mean you have to tell all of your deepest held thoughts and beliefs on the internet. I can totally understand why you might be thinking, oh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. It's not that you have to share all of your deeply held beliefs, but you absolutely do want to make sure that you are giving people more than just what it is that you do, but giving them some information about who is it that you are. So for instance, I share a little bit about my life as a mom, a homeschool mom specifically, and what it's like to grow a business now with three young kids and kind of sharing some of that journey. I also sometimes share content about what that looks like. That's just me sharing about who I am. And that doesn't mean that all of my clients are in that kind of life. Um, not everybody that I work with is a homeschool mom. In fact, majority of them are not, but they at least appreciate learning a little bit about my life because then they can see that I am an actual person and not just a bunch of marketing cliches. All right. The next thing I want you to know about 2024 is that networking is so much easier gone are the days where you have to pick up a phone book and make cold calls or some of the early Facebook cringe type marketing where you would send messages like, hey girl, to everybody. You don't have to do that anymore. However, there are so many ways to network within your business. And one of the best ways I believe is right here on YouTube, putting out content that really speaks to your ideal client. Now, if you're overwhelmed by that, I want to take a moment to just let you know I am here to help you. And if you're wanting to leverage YouTube so you don't have to be a slave to Meta any longer, um, I want you to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be coming up with some new content for you to kind of help you as you're considering to grow your YouTube presence. Here's what I want you to know about growing a business 
2024, or any year. Really, it's going to come down to you making the decision that you are going to chase new goals and go after them. And that's something that I have had to do every year in my business, all the way back from 2017 to now, every single year, I have set new goals. And then I have had to be committed to doing the work to make those goals happen. And the same is going to be true for you. There's such an opportunity for new niches that are emerging on a daily basis. And you can actually grow an audience faster now than you ever have been able to before due to what we understand about the algorithms of YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So I want you to know that if you have a heart to help people Maybe you already have a business and you haven't made the money you wanted to make. Maybe you have a business and you have made the money you wanted to make, but you want to reach more people. Or maybe you're thinking about just getting started. No matter who you are, I want you to know that you absolutely can grow in 2024. Now, if you're watching this video and you're realizing, okay, but Anita, quarter four is here. Well, I want you to know this is the best time to grow your business. And actually, I'm going to put a video on the screen that's going to give you my best thoughts for growing your business in quarter four. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.